Here's a great activity you can do with your child for Easter, and it's to make resurrection eggs. So I just think that this is a great way to share the Easter story with your child. Of course, um, reading the Bible ahead of time so they hear the whole story of Easter, and then doing the resurrection eggs is a great way to reinforce the story, and it gives a little bit more detail too. So I'm going to go ahead and talk with you about how you can make them your, by yourself. And you can also buy these as well, but it's fun to make them and you can make them with your child. Um, so I'm going to talk with you about how to make them and then I'm going to open up each egg with you and kind of go into detail about them. But the way that I would tell a child, like your child, this story. You know, really simple, age appropriate, not too much information, you know. Um, so what you'll need is an egg carton. Take out the eggs, and you're gonna and you're gonna need 12 plastic eggs. Any colors you want, they don't have to be the colors that you see here. And then up here on the top, you can see um, that I wrote everything down. You know, so we so you know what's in what would be in the first egg, the donkey, and the second egg, the coins, and so on. So you know, in case they get mixed up, you can put it back in order. So. Also, if you want, you can have your child number the eggs so you remember what's, you know, what is the first egg. So let's, oh, and also I wanted to tell you that some of these things, it's hard to fill up. You know, like coins, you can find those, but maybe a sword would be hard to find. So what we went ahead and did for you is, you know, there's a, a donkey, praying hands, crown of thorns, a sword, you know, and you can go to CollinsABCs.com under themes and patterns. You can print these out and then put them inside the eggs. Okay, so, and also you'll find on this paper as well is everything kind of in detail. So instead of just saying donkey, it, it says donkey, Jesus rode on a donkey to Jerusalem. So it's kind of like a cheat sheet for you to look at. So... I'm just going to go ahead and go through these eggs with you and tell you what's inside and go through this. It'll be what's exactly what's on the sheet as well. So the first egg, great small motor skill too because they're using these muscles in their hand to open the egg. Let your child do this part. So much fun for them to open it up and see what's going to be inside. So the first one in here is the donkey. So all I say is Jesus rode on the donkey to Jerusalem. And now there were people... You know, I also talk about how there are people that were happy to see him, and there are people that weren't happy to see him. So, we we'll kind of talk about that. A second one are coins. So, inside here, I just, you know, found some nickels that I have. Anything that you have, any coins that you have, pennies, whatever. So, these are the coins that were given to Judas, who was a friend of Jesus, that were given to Judas to show the leaders where Jesus was. So, great thing to talk about, too, is that Judas is supposed to be a friend of Jesus. And he decided to take money instead of be Jesus' friend. The third one is bread. So, this is for the Last Supper. So, the Last Supper that Jesus has with his disciples. And what all I did was just take a piece of bread and stick it in the egg. And it's nice and stale now. Because <laughs> it's been in here for years. And then... The fourth one are praying hands. So again, um, the pattern will be on Colin's ABCs. You can put them in here. Praying hands are for Jesus going to the Garden of Gethsemane and praying to make sure that you know he was doing the right thing. And this one is a sword. So when he was praying in the garden, the leaders came to take Jesus away. And one of his disciples pulled out his sword to help Jesus. And the fifth one is a crown of thorns. So what I have in here is, you know, something I just clipped from a rose bush, you know, with the thorns on it. Talk about with your child that thorns are pokey and that they will really hurt. And this is something that they made and they put on Jesus' head. And so then they put it on his head and then he, he was bleeding and he got a bunch of sores and owies all over his body. 
and and on his head and everything. And you know, you can talk with your child too about this. You know, this is kind of a sad part of the story, but we know that in the end, it's a good part. We know what happens in the end. So there's a sad part to it, but we're getting to the really good part. So the next one is a cross. So all I did was I used toothpicks and I glued them together. So I just, um, so we talk about the cross and how they put Jesus on the cross to die. And also I'll talk about where, you know, where like his head was and his legs were and his arms were. And then the next egg goes into the nails. So we put three nails in here because they used three nails, one in each of his hands and one in his feet. So, so that's what's in that egg. And then the next one is the sponge. So while he was on the cross, they dipped a sponge into, you know, wine vinegar and went to feed it to Jesus. And so, you know, wine vinegar, that wouldn't taste very good. And so they were, you know, not being very kind to him. And so the sponge, of course, is just from, you know, my kitchen, just a little piece of sponge there. Okay, getting close, almost done. So this egg is a linen. So, you know, when they took Jesus off the cross, they wrapped him in a cloth. You know, you can also say to your child, kind of like a napkin, you know, type thing. They wrapped him up in the cloth and laid him in the tomb. Also, the tomb is like a big cave. They may not understand that. So a tomb is like a big cave. And then they rolled a big stone, like a big rock in front of the cave to, um, to make sure that nobody came in to steal his body. And they put guards out in front to make sure that nobody could come in. And then the last day, my favorite, it's empty. So there's nothing inside because on Easter Sunday, Jesus was resurrected. So he rose from the dead and he was alive again. So I hope that you enjoy this Easter story as much as I do.